Welcome to PT Dance Education videos. Today we're going to be talking about caffeine and the caffeine response to the human body, reset, and what we can do about it. So let's have a talk about caffeine to get started with. Caffeine is a natural herb found in plants that when consumed by the human body, uh, gives us a, a drive, a boost, a metabolic boost. It improves our energy levels and mental alertness. Therefore, taking caffeine can be a good thing if it's taken in the correct amounts and at the correct times. The problem is 75% of the people in this world are not in that position and we've had too much caffeine and this is the reason why bodies have adapted to it. It's been now been picked up in the body as a poison and we need to go through what we call a caffeine reset. So, let's have a chat about caffeine. When our body consumes caffeine too much, our body gets used to it. So if you have uh, one to two cups of coffee every single day, within three to four weeks, your body becomes adapted to the caffeine response and now picks up the caffeine as a poison. This poison means that it's a toxin. Your body doesn't want to have it in your body. As a result, your body panics, goes through the fight or flight response, and its natural response is now to produce adrenaline because it thinks that the toxin is trying to kill you. When your body produces adrenaline, um, this is what gives your body the energy. So if you have caffeine for too long in periods of time, if your body picks up as a poison, now produces adrenaline, and the energy that you get out of caffeine is the energy that you receive from the adrenaline. The problem is people don't know and can't feel the difference between the energy they receive from the caffeine versus the adrenaline. So they think they're getting energy from the coffee, but they're really not. Their body's now picking up caffeine as a poison and they're now running on adrenaline. When your body gets to this stage, you now need a caffeine reset. This reset goes for around about 74, 76 hours so let's say around about three days. During this caffeine reset, uh, for three days, so say two to three days, most people take um, actually three to four days to be honest with you. If you take, say, three days off your caffeine completely, make sure you also have no stimulants and no pre-training workouts as well, because remember they have a massive amount of caffeine in them. Yes, your energy levels will die down. Yes, you are going to feel lethargic, but I promise you, it's going to trigger a massive health boost, and when you do take caffeine later on down the track, your energy level is going to skyrocket three times the amount. So taking three days off, you're going to get tired now during those three days, but later on, your energy levels are going to double. You're going to get twice as much boost. Now when you have your pre-trained supplement, I promise you, you're going to end up having some of the best workouts of your life. So remember, take your caffeine and your coffee and your pre-trained supplements for up to three weeks. After three weeks, take three days off, have a complete caffeine reset. Yes, it's going to be a tough three days, but push yourself through it. Now a really good trick that I'm going to leave you on is make sure that the biggest workouts such as legs for example are going to be done on the first day of the caffeine reset or not at all. So make sure that you have the three days off uh, when you believe that your body can handle it the most. Try that in your next workout and I'll talk to you next week.